Usually, when we think about assistive technology, we think about it just in the context of keeping people healthy and safe. But if we think more broadly than that and think about apps and assistive technology, we can think about a wide range of ways to help people live their perfect week. We use the headings and adapted them from the Think Local App Personals markers for progress. And we looked at how assistive technology and apps can help in relation to choice and control, community, money, health and safety and information. If we look at apps and assistive technology for choice and control, at a most basic level, there's the TV remote. And then there's more sophisticated apps for iPads and smartphones that can really support people to communicate. And you can find out more about those through your local speech and language therapist. And then there's apps and assistive technology around community, both for maintaining existing relationships and friendships and for finding out what's going on locally. So this might include a digital photo frame to enable people to see the people that matter to them. It might include being in contact with people over Skype or FaceTime or social media. It might be using the What's On app or TripAdvisor to make decisions about where to go. Then in relation to money, you can get live balance updates from banking. You could use things like Shop for Support to manage an individual or personal budget. And there's a red laser app to help people understand how much things cost via barcodes. When we think about health and safety, again, there's a wide range of things from video door entry screens to epilepsy center mats to just checking and carbon monoxide detectors. Even we exercise could be a way to help people be healthy and safe. And then finally, information. Apps and assisted technology give us great opportunities to find out more about what's going on locally. For example, the Trafford Council app is a way that you can check on refuse collection and report an issue, right down to using Kindles to get PDFs of information to read very easily. So when you're looking at just enough support and you're wanting to see whether assisted technology can help people, think beyond just health and safety. Think apps as well as assistive technology and explore what we can do to enable people to have more choice and control, to be connected in their community, to feel in control of their money, have the information they need, as well as being healthy and safe.